Welcome back everybody to A&M Homestead. My name is Alan, wife's name is Marcia, and I tell you what, today we're going to be doing an update with the animals and how everybody is handling the colder weather. I do have a small project. I want to try to put uh, some insulation for the chickens on their chicken coop and check up on the goats and the pigs and make sure that they are nice and uh, cozy starting out for the winter time. Uh, we do have plans for some other things in the future, but we'll go over that later on. So I just want to thank everybody for subscribing. Make sure you put thumbs up at the end of the video on your way out. So let's get started right now. Okay, so we are over here at the chicken coop right now, and as you can tell, we've got some open spaces up here, and this is our summertime um, setting for them. That way they have plenty of airflow, and because it gets hot here during, in the Midwest, so uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some plastic on the open spaces that I've got right up right here. But I am going to leave a gap up at the top. That way they do have some airflow. So uh, yesterday you did, I did video, but I did go ahead and clean out the chicken coop. But I still had to clean out the nesting boxes. So after I get all the plastic on for the chickens, I'm going to go ahead and clean the nesting boxes out. I completely forgot. And the wife was like, why didn't you do that? Because she comes out and gets the eggs. I was like, I don't know. I just, I forgot. So I got a lot done yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything all prepped up with that. But first, now that we got the chickens all taken care of, let's go say hi to the goats. Let's go say hi to the pigs. Y'all haven't seen them in a while. So they've grown quite a bit. So let's go see them, see how they're doing. Now, whenever we get here, get in here with the goats and the pigs, it may be a little chaotic. Because uh, most of the time, whenever I come out here, they're thinking that I got food for them. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to get some video for you. See, and show you how well they are doing. And, um, so... Which as the animals, they'll calm down once they realize I don't have any food for them. I don't feed them normally until the evening time. So, which as we got some yummy treats for them this evening. We got some, oh, sorry. We got some, uh, oh, some sweet potatoes that didn't cure right. So, all right. So, we're going to head over here. You all know the routine. And once they figure out I'm over here, they're all going to go crazy. So, and goats are doing pretty good. Uh, the Both the goats, they are bucks. And they really stink. They really, really stink bad. And um, the bigger one, he's so aggressive that Marcia doesn't even want to come in here, in here to see the pigs. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. So, all right, enough of looking at me. Let's look at the pigs. <laughs> Ooh. 
Well, as always, that never works out very good. Especially when you have goats. Especially when goats and pigs are together. Goats always ruin it for the most part. But, um... Yeah, everything is going really good. Uh, we're actually getting ready to... Uh, almost shut down the homestead for the winter. As far as, um any projects going on so i've got the illinois gun season it's going to be going uh this friday morning friday saturday sunday so i'll be partaking in that and uh, spending time with family and so really excited about that so after working for almost i don't know 40 45 days straight with the harvest I mean it was it's kind of nice to be able to get back with the family and so I'm really excited looking forward to that actually tonight this is Thursday hoping this video will go out Friday that uh, we're gonna go I'm gonna go over to our deer camp I'm not gonna be able to be there this year wish I could I got things I gotta get caught up on from harvest time but got to I gotta go and see my family I miss them so the animals are doing good they're doing really really good um, unfortunately we do plan on processing um, Miss Piggy oh, about the week of Thanksgiving so that'd be like probably a week from today so um, I will be videoing that, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to show, I'm going to put a video out about Miss Piggy. We, she's the longest pig that we've had here. We've had her pretty close to two years now, so. I mean, she's a pretty close part of our family, but it's just time, and because we got three other little ones that we're raising up, so. Um, she's been a really good pig, really good mama. Really happy about it, sad about it. But just knowing that we can grow our own food here at the homestead, I mean, just it just makes me feel so much better. And so I have to get our walk-in cooler. We did build a walk-in cooler for all you new new subscribers. Everyone, I just want to say thank you, love you, God bless, and just give our channel a look out. And you know, we got plenty of videos for you to look at and just kind of get caught up with what's going on. So. I got to get the walk-in cooler all ready to go, make sure it's kosher for deer season and for Miss Piggy. So I got to do that today. Just got to just do some minor cleanup and everything and just make sure it's ready to go. So continue watching our channel. We're going to have some new videos coming up. So looking forward to it. So just want to say thank you. God bless. See you all next time. Bye.